Hey guys, uh, Grant at ICAST 2016 in Orlando for anglingauthority.com. I'm here with Mike Iconelli. Hi there. And he's going to show us some new stuff. What do you got? Yeah, I got a brand new spinning reel. This is, I'm most excited about this. A lot of cool stuff, but this I'm stoked about because it fills a gap. Uh, for years and years, spinning reel, finesse fishing, uh, synonymous with a slow gear ratio. But this is the brand new Abu Garcia Revo Rocket. Here it goes, you ready for this? Seven, zero to one gear ratio. Dude, blistering fast. Think about all the techniques where I didn't have a reel that was fast enough. Now I do. Uh, a, zoom, a zoom fluke, a Berkley jerk, Havoc shad, swim bait, uh, little crank bait. Techniques where you gotta burn it, this is gonna be the reel. It's pretty amazing. And 10 ball bearings too. Pretty awesome. You know what? This is for guys who are really comfortable with spinning. Yes. And they just prefer spinning. Yes. And they want to be able to pull in line real quick. Yep. And they've always been, I think, just at a disadvantage. Right. Because the baitcaster guys got like a 9, nine yeah. one, 8 to 1, whatever. Yeah. Baitcaster guys, fast gear ratio, a lot of line recovery, but now you've got it with a spinning reel. How heavy is it? Uh, it weighs, uh, I think, 6.5 ounces, Not so bad. super light. We've got it in three sizes. So, you know, even guys that are using braid, we've got a size for you, plenty of, of capacity on that spool. Pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Have you fished it yet? I have fished it. I actually got one prototype at the Bassmaster Classic this year. Been using it since the Classic. In our one of our last events on Cayuga, I had a top 10 finish, and I used this reel in the weeds with a drop shot. But power fishing a drop shot. Throw it in, burn it back, make the next cast, burn it back, help me cover a lot of water. So aside from uh, power fishing with a drop, drop shot, yep. What else are you using this rod for? Yeah, so, uh, so this reel for. So one of my number one techniques would be uh, a soft plastic stick bait or jerk bait. So the zoom fluke, uh, the havoc jerk, you know those twitch baits. A twitch bait to me, especially when you get around small mouths or spotted bass, you want the thing moving fast. The hotter the water, the faster you want that bait moving. The other thing's jerk bait fishing, especially those small micro jerk baits, right? Um, they're too small to throw on a casting rod. There's not enough weight there, but I want to really rip it. And uh, now I can with that fast ratio, seven zero to one. Sorry, curious about the uh, the fluke. Yep. You're ripping it quickly. You're putting weight on it, right, to get it down. Because if you're ripping it quickly, it's going to come up and just stay out to, as a top water. Yeah. So there's different techniques. So when I want to keep it down, I'll actually use a belly weighted hook with a screw lock. Um, but you know, when you rig that fluke style bait, depending on how you put that hook in, you can get it to do different stuff. So the deeper you go into the nose of the bait the more lift that bait has. But what I'll do a lot with the fluke style bait is when I go in with my hook, I'll just barely go into it and come right back out. And that actually causes the bait to nose down a little bit. One of the cool things about the fluke though, is as that bait's jerking, if it pops out of the water every once in a while and comes back down. That's okay. Dude, that's okay, because it's natural. That looks real and you're gonna get a lot of bites with that. Right, because it's like a fleeing bait fish, it's right? It's like a fleeing bait fish, something trying to get away, it scoots out of the water, it comes back down. Nice. Yep. Killer reel, man. Uh, okay, awesome. Uh, there you go, guys. Revo Rocket Spinning. Brand new, hot reel. That's pretty cool. Can I, uh, can I see that for a second? Yes. That's awesome. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing reel. It, like I said, is, it fills this, a, is this a braid uh, spool, or does it come with an extra spool? Or uh, it does come with an extra spool. Um, so they've got two. This is the standard spool, but they've got those notches in there, and so you know, I've always put backing on. But for yeah. guys that don't put backing, that'll help keep the braid from slipping on itself. Well, I, I started seeing these braid spools where yep. they have the rubber or whatever. The, the yeah, they have the little material. the little uh, gasket that yeah. goes around. Yeah. So. And, and you know, oh, that's a braid spool. You don't need to put backing on it. Do you ever not put backing on braid? I always put backing on it. I put backing on it uh, for the simple fact, you know, the slippage issue, but for the simple fact that, dude, I don't need that much braid on the reel. You know, you know a long cast is 100 feet. You're not going to make a cast more than 100 feet. So I never put a whole spool of braid on there. It's a waste of braid. What about electrical tape? I know some guy. Yeah, I've heard of that. Electrical I've tape. heard of guys doing that. You I never, don't do that. No. Nah. I just throw mono as backing. I throw 30 yards well, that's, of... That's the right way, right? Yeah, I throw 30 yards of like eight eight pound mono on there. What about this, This uh, you still, they still have the reverse. A lot of companies are taking this reverse out. Yeah. They're doing it so you can't reel back, yeah. back reel. 
So this back reeling feature here where you can just back reel. Yeah. So guys that don't know how to use a spinning reel, they'll buy a spinning reel. Yeah. They'll bring it back, oh, it doesn't work. It's going back and forth. Yeah. What the hell is going on? So now a lot of manufacturers took this this out. Yeah. Do you ever use that feature? I don't. Uh, you know, it's a matter of personal preference on how you fight a fish. I should show you real quick. Here's, you know, and everybody develops their own style. But for me, I'll tighten my front drag until I get it to where when I pull that line out, it's just barely pulling out. So I like a tight drag, right? So tighten it up, you pull on it, just barely coming out. Then I'll fish my bait, say it's a shaky head, one swims with it, I jack them. If I know it's a good fish, I know instinctively to go one full turn back on that drag. And now all of a sudden I've got enough drag when that fish runs, they'll pull the drag. The other thing I do is I actually give the fish line. Like a lot of guys rely on the reel. The fish dives, they just stay in one position. When that fish is diving, not only do I bow to the fish, but I feed the drag to the fish. So I'm taking the initiative on knowing that fish is diving, and then I recover on him, I recover on him, and then when he dives again, I give the, take the initiative to let that drag work. And everybody develops their own stuff. And I just noticed that this rocket is gonna allow you to pull up to recover Reco a lot faster line recovery uh you know over 30 inches per one turn of the reel handle so that's, that's gonna, phenomenal but that's gonna there. that's gonna give you more time to mentally decide okay what do i need to do it's going to give you more time it's going to give you better control of the fish you know you don't have to work to catch up to the fish and dude you know those fish where you set the hook and they steam straight at you. Yeah. How many have you lost because you, you can't, can't catch up, up to them? Yeah. It's gonna really get you a lot more fish in the boat because of that. That's awesome. I like the design too. It's, a, it's, it's sharp, it's like a Ferrari. Cool design, cool color. I, you I, might get pulled over by the cops, you know, but uh, it's, <laughs> it's a great reel. It's a, it's a good reel. If you go to the bar, you just hold it. You can pick up chicks with it and everything. <laughs> Probably could. <Yeah. laughs> Wear it around your neck. There you go. Like a Flavor Flav cock, public enemy. <laughs> Yeah, that could, be a boy. New, that could be a new thing for you, wearing Look a spinning reel around your neck. See the big, thick gold chain. There you go. Like that. I like this one. Um, I know that they have the ALX too. Yes. Uh, that's out as well. Yes. They redid the MGX. Redid the MGX. The MGX Extreme casting reel, the redo on it's pretty sick. Uh, Lighter, smaller, have more you compact. Yet? I have. The same thing. They sent me a prototype back to the Bassmaster Classic. Listen to this. 4.4 ounces on that deal. That's light. Pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, the MGX Extreme, not the HS, the regular Extreme. Portuguese cork grips. That's a trend in Japan that's coming here to the States now. And and that lightens the reel, but the cork grips, you gotta try it. Um, there's something to it about the feel of a cork grip. That's amazing. Uh, eight zero to one gear ratio, 32 inches of line recovery, line recovery per turn. It's sick. It's a sick casting reel. Pretty sick. So you said cork. You prefer cork over the uh, EVA? I've or? always used EVA foam up until they sent me this reel, and I'm really starting to like the feel of it. Uh, you know, I, I mean, under all conditions, dry, wet conditions. Um, can't describe it, but it has a certain feel that you just want to keep your hands on the on the reel handle. It's something about it. it feels good. Hmm. And uh, so you've used them. Yes. Um, they're smaller. They're smaller. They're compact. You know, I, I, I think we've talked about this before. I've always been an advocate of a reel that disappears. It actually becomes an extension of your body, right? Dude, when I was a kid, baitcast reels were like that yeah, big. Yeah. You don't want a reel that you have to work around. You want a reel that, that is effortless and it disappears. Like flipping technique, pitching technique is a great example. You know, it's hand and wrist motion. And if you have a reel that's clunky and big, it's harder to, to make that motion, that technique. But with that MGX, the new MGX Extreme, disappears. You know, it, it's part of your hand. It's part of the cast. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you think that's going to be uh, the new trend for Abu to go with those smaller? Like, I, that, are we going to see? What do, what do you think? Are we going to see all of the Revos start to change over, or I, is there still a market for for the bigger? Yeah. 
No, it's a it's definitely a category, but I don't think it's going to take over everything because a reel should be a tool, right? Just like like a hammer, a screwdriver, um, and for certain techniques, flipping is a great example. You want a small profile reel, but there's other techniques where you want a lot of line. Um, a, a giant deep diving crankbait. I want more line, I want a bigger spool, and I want a slower gear ratio. So the, the bigger reels, they're not gonna go away. The Winch, the Premier, uh, Beast. the STX, the Beast, they're gonna stay around. But you look at the reel and pick the technique that matches it perfectly. Question. Yes. Beast. 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 Have you ever thought of using it for pitching and flipping? I haven't. I've played with the Beast mainly on big bait techniques, yeah. uh, oversized crankbaits, oversized swim baits. For those of you that are allowed to fish the Alabama rig in events, great reel for the A rig and, and multiple wire A rig stuff. So, really cool reel. And uh, do you think it would be a good reel for flipping and pitching? Or I think it I mean, would it's be. A seven to one. Yep. It's got a massive uh, handle, right? Yep. Big, big knobs. I think it would be good. I, for pitching and flipping, for me personally, again, you know, a lot of it's preference. I want an even faster gear ratio. I want a seven to nine, an eight zero to one. Um, like a rocket. Flipping, yeah, a rocket is a great flipping reel because I want to pitch in there, jack them, and get them in the boat. Okay. You know, you're talking about heavy cover between you and that, you know, and that shoreline. So I want to jack them. Seven is still too slow. I feel like it's a little slow now. For spinner baiting, for chatter baiting, uh, for fishing a Texas rig worm in open water, I like the seven to one. It forces me to slow down a little bit. But when I jack that fish in that grass, dude, I want them out of that cover and in the boat, especially in tournament situations. So I want a faster gear ratio. Hmm. So why are they coming out with like a eleven to one? Hey, dude, you know the way to get there soon. The way Abu's designed stuff, I would put it past in the next couple of years. Yeah. You'll see a super, super high speed reel. Yeah, I could see that happening too. I could. All right, thanks, Mike. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.